course, can throw you off. I mean, if you've played Metroid 2 your whole life, as I had done, and then suddenly you decide to play on Metroid 4, you realise that the time is completely, totally different. <coughs> The SAX is a complete and total idiot. Either that or it just doesn't really care about the fact you can get away. I mean, presumably the SAX would have the X-ray visor. So why can't it just use it and find you? Makes no sense whatsoever. One of those things that's really, really annoying about playing on an emulator. Still, the slowdown does help beat bosses, as you can see here. Right, plasma beam. Very useful. Those things are annoyingly strong.
Hmm. Yep. Oh, no, oh, no. More trouble. Where could it possibly be? Hmm. Oh, well. <sighs> sector 5, then Sector 4, and round, and round. Then I just went the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. I'll get it right. Don't worry. Uh, what's that, three seconds off? I'm not likely to get under two hours anyway. You know, I'm good. I'm not that bloody good. Ages to work out to be the nightmare. I never think about using charge beam. Oh, really, really annoying. <sighs> I think what else can we talk about while well, I'm on my way to kill that? Hmm. Let me think. I suppose we could talk about other Metroid things. Um, we'll talk about Metroids themselves. Why did the Chozo create them? Odds are it was specifically to battle the X. I mean, you know, all evidence currently points to that. Let's be honest, it makes sense. Smart ass, but I know, but um, I'm just that good. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Nah, it's easy to work out, you just gotta be clever enough. Let's see, where am I? Is a here? Yeah. No, no, it's on the next one, isn't it? I mean, Metroids are a very weird species. I mean, they feed off some energy, some life force that nobody seems to be able to currently identify. Nobody has any idea what it is, but we can't seem to survive without it. We know the Chozo were an advanced race, but that advanced seems a bit off, if you ask me. <laughs> 